What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to make a jump scare. It's going to be a very easy tutorial to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so basically what I'm going to do this video is that you are basically um, just going to be walking on this um, kind of hallway, even though I don't know, I just make it in two minutes. And it's going to be a, uh, you know, like a, a scary ghost on the corner. And when you get a certain point, it will uh, trigger a jump scare into your face. Okay, it's gonna be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. So the first thing I got to do is just place my mannequin over there in the corner. So I'm just gonna go into characters, mannequins. I'm just gonna get the uh, queen, for example, and put the idol over there in the bottom. And it's gonna be just facing that way. So, you know, it just scary thing over there <laughs> okay so let's set up that basically uh, when we get into a certain point it will trigger um, all the things that we want to do to you know make our jump scare now i have a very uh, very detailed tutorial on triggers so if you want to check them out i'll link them in the description okay so we have to go up here into quickly add to the part we'll go into all classes and just find a trigger we're going to be using a trigger box but of course you can use whatever uh, shape you want to suit uh, better your environment so you're gonna place here and basically rescale it so it basically goes ahead and fills up the zone that the player will pass okay so now that we have our trigger um that's kind of where we want our jump scare to occur what we're going to do is open level blueprint just go over here and then open level blueprint and this will open level blueprint for our level so basically, uh, select your trigger box in the outliner or in the scene. I'm going to go back into our level blueprint, just right click, and then we can create a reference to that trigger box in the scene. Really cool. Okay. Um, but the thing is that we don't, will need exactly right now this uh, trigger box, uh, like the opt reference. What we need is to create a, an event, which is going to be the collision, uh, an actor begin overlap. Because it's basically when we start colliding with well the trigger. So I'm gonna be using the other actor and I'm gonna cast to the um, first person character or whatever your character is. Uh, just to make sure that the collider is always the player and it isn't any other object. So the jump scare will only cure if it's really the player. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is just to you know test that everything is working. We just print hello on the screen, and then if I press play and get to a point, you will see that I print hello in the top left corner. So that will be when the jump scare will occur. Okay, so first of all, let's start with this sound. So I already have imported a sound here in jump scare, a very simple sound. Um, it's very very loud, so uh, just mind your ears for a second. It's really cool. <laughs> so basically, what we're gonna do is play that sound. So I just drag from here, and do a play sound. Now we can do a 3D sound, but I don't think it's necessary. Yes, it will be in, literally in your face, so it wouldn't really matter if it's 2D or 3D because it's right in front of you, and the player will not notice. It. Okay, so now I just select it, and I'm gonna be assigning that sound, and I'm gonna be lowering a bit the volume to 0.7 because for me it's very, very, very loud. Okay. So basically, right now, uh, when we pass through that trigger, the sound will play. So that's cool. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is make sure that only uh, all of the jump scare will do it once, okay? Because just in case he goes back into the same place over there. Yeah, you can reset it whenever you want. So basically, the first thing I'm going to do is disable the player input so he cannot move while um, the well, the jump scare is current. So just drag it from our cast and you say um, disable input. And then I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in here so the player will not be able to move. Then what we're going to do is place our, um, you know, a monster in the player's face, okay? So I'm gonna be having a scare animation over here, you can see it. And I'm gonna be rotating it 90 degrees there we go and basically it, this is just like a attack animation that i'm using <laughs> for scaring the people but um literally just go ahead and we need to match it with our trigger box now the thing is that if, if we do it this way and we're to enable it like this it doesn't matter if the player was basically going backward 
they will play the sound but the the enemy will not appear so we cannot do it like this so i just want to show you how we can do it that always will be based the player and let's just go into the um first person blueprints first person character and literally we're gonna go ahead and in the viewport let's go over here and add a new skeletal mesh and it's gonna be the uh jump scare um reference and then we're gonna place our queen for the mannequin uh wait queen doesn't really matter but there we go uh and then basically we're gonna rotate it 90 degrees and place it kind of in front of the player kind of like this and it will basically will play an animation instead of a blueprint so animation asset and it will play my uh, scare animation as you can see there we go now maybe i don't want to loop it so it will do it once and that's it so by default this will be invisible selected and it's gonna be disabled and then what we're going to do is go into the third person map and here we get the character again and then we're gonna get uh jump scare go down and we can get our component the jump scare reference and then set visibly to true there you go actually i think playing the animation loop um right, so instead of always playing the animation uh we're going to just right click and create an animation montage can name like this and then basically in the secure reference we're just gonna go ahead and get remove the animation and then in here we're gonna do is just play montage into that skeleton and it will basically play this and montage scare uh in that skeleton uh there we go so now it will always be sync uh basically Okay, so we literally can now test it. So if I go here and I were to close. You can see that we're getting something. Uh, for some reason, the animation did not play. Yeah, so I just forgot that basically um, we're going to play an animation montage um, because it has to have a, a default slot on the um, animation blueprint because it doesn't have one. So we can just play an animation. It's going to be these characters. So it's like this. Sorry about that uh scare animation and then we can use compile save and then press play and get so that was really cool now maybe uh i wanted to start a bit uh after so it, it doesn't go so much backwards so maybe i want to start it from here or something like that so i'm gonna remove frames zero to three and also here yeah, and then finishes here basically we go go here and the player spawns and then what we can do is just uh make the uh player screen black so we can just go ahead create a user interface widget blueprint user widget w uh, b and that's gonna be um, death example because maybe if you don't scare you die this is just how you want to do it uh, in my case it's gonna make that the player you know screen is black you can drag this and then drag an image and basically the anchor is going to be the whole screen the offset is going to be zero and zero and the offset right button is going to be zero and zero and then this is going to be just black black and there we go and then in the here what we're going to do is in the player uh well we're gonna here after this create a widget which is going to be our I will beat death. The only player is going to be the get player controller. And then we're going to basically add it to the viewport. But now, of course, we have to uh, add a delay because if not, it will spawn, uh, you know, very, very fast and it will not have time to play our animation. So I'm just going to uh, check how much the duration is. So it is around. Okay, so 0 0.6. Eight. Okay, so the delay is gonna be 0.8. So now if I press play, you will see that if I get closer. There we go. So that was it guys. If you enjoyed and found the tutorial useful, I really appreciate you could like the video and subscribe to my channel.
lots of videos like this so if you want to check them out go ahead and i would host it bye bye